Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a fun little project that we're going to 3D print. It's this little thing, uh, I think it's called a poppet, that's what my son calls it anyway. Um, we're going to see if we can make our own. I've got this uh, TPR uh, filament, which is a little bit softer and more flexible than a TPU. And we're going to use that to make the little poppet, then we're going to make a frame that it fits in. So follow along and see how you go. I'm going to start this one by creating a sketch on the top plane and I'm going to draw a rectangle. This is going to be 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters. Now I want to get this centered over there. So I'm going to dimension this against the origin and I'm going to go 35 over 2. You could do the math yourself or you can just type it in and there it'll work it out for you. Then I'm going to put a little fillet on these edges make that 15 millimeters and I'm happy with that so we're actually going to do this in two steps um, we're going to design this side and then we're going to mirror it so it, it's the same on the other side next we're going to do a little center diameter circle here and that's going to be 20 millimeters so I also want to get this centered so we're going to dimension this against the edge there same thing 35 over 2 and then I want it horizontally aligned with the origin so I just went up there to horizontal vertical and I'll put that constraint over there now we can see it's fully constrained now we can finish sketch and we're going to extrude this so I click extrude I'll select our profile and over here it's going to be symmetric I want the total thickness to be 10 millimeters so I'll hit 5 and then it's going to be a total of 10 millimeters. So that's the start. We'll put in some fillets and stuff just now to round it off. Next step is to create a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to select slice over here. And we're going to draw the profile of our popper thing. So I'm going to push P because I want to project this so I've got some lines to work off of. And then L and X. You could go up there and select line tool and change it to construction over there. But the shortcut keys are L and X. And you can see as I move my mouse across there, it's snapping to the center. So this is going to be where we sort of, I'm going to use this to draw our popper thing. Actually, I want to have this running all the way down there. So I'll make sure that this is aligned with the origin. Um, and then I want this to be eight millimeters high. So the total length will be eight millimeters. So it's going to be just sticking out the top and you're going to be able to pop it through. Next, we're going to go center point arc or three point arc, sorry. So three point arc from here to there and round it up. Let me just turn off construction line. And there it is there and I want this dimension here to this line to be 0 0.5 so we've got a little bit of space to move there but uh, we still pretty close I'm just going to do R for rectangle just overlap this over there this is going to be two millimeters and then I want to dimension these edges one millimeter from the origin. So now that will be centered. And then from this point to this point will be three millimeters. So our lines actually going to stop over there. So we'll trim these other lines when we're done. Next, we're going to go offset and we'll offset this, but first, actually just want to make sure this is running tangent to a straight line so I'm just push L from that point over there draw a line that is straight and then we can push the tangent button and there's just curved it so we don't have it um, going past 
that area with a little dimple in the middle. It'll run around smoothly once we do our revolve. Offset, this is going to be minus 1.5, not 1 over 5, 1 1.5. And there we go. Now we just need to close off this profile. So L, line tool, I'll join these over there. And then this is already a closed profile, but let me just neaten it up there. T for trim, we'll trim these little edges away. You can see it's not fully constrained, but I'm not too worried about that. This isn't precision engineering. This is just a little fun little toy. Um, I do, however, want to get that little curve going there. So there I hit the tangent tool and it moved that straight line we had there to a curve. Now I can just trim the excess and extend this line to our, where our curve stops. I didn't want to snap to it, so I just went past it, then T, and we can trim these little edges. Now we have uh, the shape that we're going to revolve. So finish sketch, and we're going to select revolve tool, and this profile, the revolve axis will be this axis here. You may find that uh, if you did your offset and it went slightly past your revolve axis, it won't want to revolve because you are um, crossing the revolve axis. So just make sure that the line coming down to join them is in fact uh, vertical. So there's two ways we could do this. We could do a cut operation now, or we could do a revolve and then do a join operation or combine operation where we do a subtraction. But I'm just gonna do a cut here so now we can see we've got those little grooves. I'm going to use the press pull on both of these edges. And it's going to be minus 0, 0,2. And they've both pushed out a little bit, so we've got a bit more space around our uh, popper once we do that revolve. And I think I'll do the same over there on that line. Minus 0, 0,2. So that's just pushed it out so the tolerances aren't too fine. Now I'm going to do this revolve again, turn our sketch back on, and select the revolve axis. This time it's a new body. Okay, now what I want to do before I move on to the mirror operation is to just uh, inspect this. So I'm going to inspect section analysis. We're going to pull our line through there, you can see right the way around we have some space, so it's not too far in that tolerance. So I'm quite happy with that. One thing I don't like though is this gap between the where it joins is a bit big. So let's get out of there and we can go into our first extrude. Change this from a 5 to a 4 and repeat the section analysis. Drag that around. We could actually even do it a little bit more, so I'm going to change it to three and a half. That'll give us a total thickness of seven. So I haven't tried to make this yet. This is kind of just making it up as we go along. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this works once we print it out. So let's just check that again. Inspect, section analysis, and pull it through there. That looks like it'll be a lot easier to get in. And okay, well, let me get out of that section. So what we're going to do now is just mirror this body. So I'll go create, mirror, and change this to bodies. Select that body. Mirror plane will be that plane over there. You can see it's pulled through the body as well as all the features. And we will repeat that step for our little popper. Create, mirror. And then we'll select the body, mirror plane again, center plane there. And let's just go and inspect section analysis and drag it through. So you can see both sides are the same there. And we've got our popper. One thing that I do foresee is having a bit of difficulty putting this little popper in. So I'm going to turn off our poppers. We're going to do a couple of fillets. So these ones will be just to kind of get the look a bit better. 
around the edge. So I'm going to make that three and a half. So it's got a full round. Enter and then I'm going to make a little fillets on the edges there. Not too sure how big to make them. So we may adjust this. Um, try one millimeter. Maybe a bit much. Um, I'm worried our little popper falls out, but you can always reprint this, uh, adjust it. Okay, I don't really want to put any fillets on the popper itself because that TPU doesn't like uh, curves too much, such close curves. But there's our popper body, and there's the little poppers. What we're going to do now is export this and then we're going to print it out. So I'm going to go File, Export, and I'm going to export it as a 3MF there and just drop it on my desktop. There we go. The reason it's a 3MF is I only have to do one export. The 3MF is a 3D manufacturing file. So with the one export, I will have access to all the components. Well, in this case, bodies. I didn't convert them to components. So let's go into our slicer and see what we can do. So I'm just dragging it on there. You can see it's given me all the parts. There's the popper, there's the body, and there's the other popper. And we will move this one to the middle. And this is going to be a PLA. So I've got my generic PLA there. We're not going to use any, well, maybe we should use supports. Yes, I think we'll use some supports on the inside there. Um, so I've enabled support auto. We could paint them in, but I don't feel like going through that. It should put some decent supports in there for us. Layer height 0.2. Speed is standard at 300 and 200. Um, this is on a K1C, so it's got a max print speed of about 600. Uh, but I don't, obviously the standard PLA doesn't go that fast. You'd need the hyper PLA. And we, yeah, we've got everything we need. Let's just check the the density 25 I'm gonna change that to 40 make it a bit more solid and let's slice it should be a quick print there we go 13 minutes so I'm gonna export that to my local drive so I place these in the center now we're just gonna change this make sure it's on TPU uh, TPR and TPU use the same settings as far as I'm aware my previous prints came out all right so I'm gonna stick with these settings we're gonna slice plate there and we're going to get 16 minutes. So as you can see here, it's uh, fitting the little poppers into the frame is a little bit difficult. But I did manage to get it in eventually. And it seems to work all right. So that was quite a fun little project. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. And let me know what you thought of the video. Until next time, bye.